Dr. J. Kamala received her BE in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Madurai Kamaraj University in 1989, ME in VLSI Design from Baradasan University in 2002, and PhD from Anna University in 2011. She is currently working as Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Anna University, Chennai. Her research interest includes VLSI design, solar power, controller design, and smart sensors. She has published several papers at national and international journals. Welcome to the UGC lecture series on Agricultural Engineering. In this lecture series, we are going to see about Renewable Energy Part 5. In this part 5, we are going to see about solar cooker. The solar cooking is a direct sunlight to energy is used to heat, cook or pasteurize. We can use the sunlight to heat the any liquid or food for cooking process or pasteurization process and it uses minimum fuel there is no possibility of accident because if we use gas or some other electric heat cooking there is a possibility of more heat and there is a possibility of fire to broke out. In this case it is not po possible to have accidents and solar heating is safe to handle. So, no fuel is involved in the solar cooking process and it is for outdoor cooking. So, in a hot environment like India, the kitchen is very hot in the sunny days, but by using the solar cooker, it is placed outside under the sun, the kitchen is cool on the sunny days. It reduces pollution, no smoke is generated from this one. and no wood or anything is used to produce the heat. So, it avoids deforestation and it is cheap, free and easy to maintain. That is the advantages of solar cooking. Here in the solar cooker, it will be having three components. The components are mainly used for absorption, concentration and retention. The absorption is to absorb the solar radiation. The solar radiation is absorbed and it is used to heat the food materials. Then concentration, we use reflectors to concentrate the solar rays into the food. And another one is retention. The concentrated solar rays are to be trapped under the or on the food material, so that the heat is retained in the solar cooker. So, we use reflector panels. Around the cooking part, we use reflector panels to speed up the accumulation of heat. If more solar rays are accumulated towards the cooking pot, the heat is increased around the cooking pot and it increases the speed of cooking process. And we use black interior panels, the interior panels of the cooker are painted with black color, so that absorb absorption of solar rays are enhanced. Retention and the cooking part is insulated from other structures, so that the heat in the cooking pot is not transmitted to other materials. So, it is insulated so that the heat trapped around the cooking pot is retained and it will improve the cooking process. So, types of solar cooker if you see, it is having three types. Basically, it is three types and we will be having more number of different types of solar cookers. The major models if you see box solar cooker, panel solar cooker and concentrator solar cookers. The box solar cooker and panel solar cooker 
are used for residential applications or in small hotels or restaurants. It is used to generate the food in small quantities. Here the box solar cooker, it will be having a mirror. A mirror will be there. This mirror is used to accumulate the or reflect the solar panel around the cooking pot. It is having two boxes, one outer box and another one inner box. The outer box for trapping the heat and the inner box is insulated from the cooking pot. A glass is placed on the top so that the solar rays are allowed to pass through the glass and it reaches the cooking pot. The inner wall of the first box is painted in black color so that it absorbs the solar energy. So, this is the structure. The mirror is such that it can be adjusted so that we get maximum solar radiation from the sun. So, it accumulates or it reflects the solar rays towards the cooking part. So, according to the sun position and the time of the day, the mirror is to be placed properly. So, it is used for mainly home cooking. Home cooking means the amount of food to be cooked is very small. In that case, we can use this one or in small hotels and restaurants, we can use this cooker. So, the model if we see it will be like this. A mirror will be there. This is the mirror. It reflects the solar rays. This is the glass window. It encloses on the box. Inside this box, we place the cooking pots. The cooking pots should be shallow, wide and thin so that it acquires more heat from the sun. Next one is panel cooker. Here solar panel cooker refers to not PV cells, a structure. It is like it is a open to sun. If we see this structure, it is three sided box. We will be having bottom side and three sides of the box. The box is coated or uh, pasted with a reflective material so that this box, the structure reflects more sun towards the cooking part. The cooking part is placed at the center. The temperature produced by the cooker ranges from 121 degree centigrade to 149 degree centigrade and it is used to cook soup meat, vegetables, casseroles and desserts. And this cooker is easy to manufacture by everyone because we the steps are given clearly, the structure, shape of the materials and type of materials required to manufacture this cooker is given in the website and we can follow the steps and we can produce this cooker easily. This is the solar panel cooker. It is also used for residential applications to cook smaller amount of food. And this co cooking pot is mostly placed inside a heat resistant bags. So, that around the cooking pot, the heat is trapped and it enhances the cooking process and the vessel vessel is also instead of placing the vessel at the bottom directly we can use some stones or bricks such that the vessel is placed above the surface and the heat is transferred through the cooking pot on all the directions it enhances the cooking process Next, if you see the cooking temperature, most of the food are cooked in the temperature range of 82 to 121 degree centigrade. 
the room temperature is around 22. In case of India, it is in 28 or 30. Summer means it will be reaches high temperature. In winter season, it will be in nearer to 28. If we heat the any food material or any process, uh, food material or food, fruits or vegetables, anything, around 49 degree centigrade, most of the gems are killed. For faster pasteurization, pasteurization is the step used to destroy the germs. 65 degree centigrade, food pasteurization is around 71 degree centigrade and food cooks between 82 to 91 degree centigrade and water boils at 100 degree centigrade. These are the cooking temperatures we normally use in the cooking process. So, cooking time if you see for a 2 kilogram of food materials, it depends on the sunny time when we are placing or using the cooker to cook the food. If we cook in the noon that is from 10 to 2 o'clock, the cooking will be fast that is our shadow is less than our size it is very minimum. The shadow length is very less means it is time for fast cooking. We get more heat radiation from the sun and we can cook fastly. If we cook in the evening then that time the shadow is greater than uh, our length. The shadow length is larger than our length. In that case the sun radiation is not very high and it is slow or if we go try to cook during the night time. In that case, the sun radiation will be very minimum and we will not get more sun radiation and uh, we cannot cook because it will take more time for the cooking process. So, it we do not we cannot cook in the evening time that is during the sunset that is we have seen till now solar cookers of type box type cook, cooker and panel type cooker. These two cookers with these two cookers it is not possible to cook in during the sunrise time or sunset time and if we take 2 kilogram of food how much time it will take for the cooking. If we take egg, 2 kilogram of egg, rice, fruits, vegetables, fish and chicken, it will take around 1 to 2 hours. The normal typical cooker will take 1 to 2 hours to cook this 2 kilogram of food. And the next one is root vegetables like radish, beetroot, all those things lentils, meat, bread, those things will take 3 to 4 hours, yam, all those things. It will take around 3 to 4 hours of time to cook. If we take larger roast, soup and stew and dried fruits means it will take 5 to 6 hours. So, the cooking time depends on the environment. We and the other things with these things are whether we are having wind, how much wind is there, if it is cloudy the cooking time will increase. These cooking times are approximate if the sun is clear and if it is not cloudy. If it is cloudy and it is having more wind and if it is having other intermittent shadows then the cooking time will be increasing. Other type of cooking, solar cookers, they are called community cook for community cooking. That is to cook large amounts of food for a community people. That cooker is parabolic solar cooker. Here a parabolic dish is used. The parabolic dish is fitted with lens and mirrors. At the center, the parabolic act as a reflector 
and it focus all the sunlight towards the center. At the center, we place the cooking pot. It has a direct access to sun. It can produce heat in the range of temperatures of from 260 degree centigrade to 371 degree centigrade. These type of cookers can be used just after sunrise and just before sunset. The previous type of cookers, it is not possible during the sunrise and sunset. Here, because of the parabolic structure, very high heat is produced. So, it is possible to use it in the sunrise and sunset duration also. Another advantage of this cooker is, it can be used even in sub-zero temperature. Only thing we want is sun rays. That is in the cold countries, if the area is so having lot of snow in the night and morning if we have a little sunrise or sun rays, it is possible to use this type of solar cooker. The processes, cooking process we can use for this one is grilling, boiling, steaming, frying and sartering. Next, evacuator tube solar cooker. Here, we will be having large evacuated glass tube. It is surrounded by shiny reflector panels. These are all shiny reflector panels. The reflector panels focus the sun rays at the center. That is, at the center we are having large evacuated glass tube. The glass tube can reach a temperature of 290 degree centigrade or greater. This evacuated glass tube will have two layers of glass materials. It is coated with anti-reflective material and it is coated with a absorbing material. It will be having outer layer of glass and inner layer of glass. In between the two layers of glass, it is evacuated. That is why it is called the evacuated glass tube. One end of the tube is closed, other end will be open. This end is open and this end is closed. Through this open end, we can insert trays and it is fitted with the food that we are going to cook. For example, meat, bread, vegetables and dessert like that. Whatever we want to cook that can be placed at one end and it can be inserted through the other end. So, it is at the one end of the glass tube it is open, the other end it is closed. And here we have to take lot of precautions. The glass is not to be preheated. Yeah, because we, whenever we want to use that time only, we have to apply the food and heat it. Before with the empty trays or empty inside, it cannot be preheated, it will break. And another thing is, we should not use cold food in the hot glass, the glass will break. So, special precautions are to be taken use while using the evacuator tube solar cooker. And uh, it is available in both larger size as well as in smaller size. Larger size solar cookers are used for community cooking and smaller size co solar cooker are used for home residential cooking purpose. Next one is the types of cookers which is used in large or for community purpose, community cooking purpose. For example, in Shidi Sai temple canteen, they are using 70 reflectors, parabolic reflectors are used together to cook for the devotees coming every day. Similarly, Indian army in Ladakh, 
they are using solar parabolic concentrators. These solar parabolic concentrators are used to produce 500 mils per day. So, the, so these are called solar concentrated cooking. They are using solar concentrators to concentrate the solar radiation such that high heat is produced that high heat can be used to cook large amount of meals. And the next one is Scheffler reflectors. Here 84 reflectors are used, they are arranged in rows like this and each one is of 10 meter square size and steam is used to cook. In the Scheffler reflector placed in center of Brahmakumari's Abu Road, Rajasthan, they are cooking about 38,000 meals per day. Similarly, in Tirupati also, Scheffler reflectors are used uh, 3 times per day and around 15,000 meals per day. So, it is used in for community cooking. Next one is what are the materials we use to construct the solar cookers? The reflector is the main one because reflectors concentrate the solar rays into the cooking part. So, if we choose the reflector properly, it is possible to cook in fast and efficient manner. The materials used for reflectors are aluminum foils we can use or metallized polyester film. It is correctly bonded to plastic or plus sheeting or mylar sheets, vinyl sheeting with a mirror finish or we can use mirror. If we use mirror, handling is to be very careful because if we did not handle properly, there is a possibility of breakout. So, the mirrors are to be placed properly in the cooker. The reflectors, if we see, the reflectors are to be adjusted according to the sun position in a day. The solar angle, the angle at which the solar rays incident on the solar cooker is the solar angle. That solar angle decides the reflector acceptance width. That is how much area that is width the solar rays are incident on the reflector. For ex high angles means for example, 80 means the width is reduced. For a solar angle of 40 degree, we are having a reflector acceptance width of 74.3 centimeter. For a solar angle of 50 degree, we are getting a 73.7 width of reflector acceptance width. For 60 degree, 70.8 is the width for solar angle of 70 degrees, we are getting a reflector acceptance width of 65.8 centimeter. For a reflector angle of 80 degrees, we are getting a reflector acceptance width of 58.8 centimeter. So, according to the solar angle, that is according to the position of sun, the solar angle varies and the reflector width also varies. If the width is very high means we get more radiation. So, we choose the appropriate so reflector position according to solar angle. So, these are the materials used for reflectors and the with the aluminum foils it is easy to uh, uh, manufacture a box type solar cooker and panel type solar cooker and insulators. What are the materials we can use for insulation? One is heat resistant plastic bag. They are used in microwave ovens also. Then polypropylene bags, nylon bags, it is a common type of oven bag, polyester bags, 
and high density polyethylene bags. These bags are the shopping bags. If they are transparent in nature, we can use. Most of the shops are providing these type of bags. And the large inverted glass bowl, it is used in the panel cookers. The panel cookers used to trap the heat and the and the it is used to place the cooking pot inside the heat trapping material. A heat resistant plastic bag or large inverted glass bowl can be used as an insulator. It prevents the heat around the cooking pot not to be escaped from the solar cooker or we can have a insulated box with a glass or a plastic window. All these things or we can use in day to day life we will be having lot of cardboards, dry plant fibers and wool. These things can be used as insulating material. Next one is absorber. Outer surfaces of pots and lids and inside of box cooker they are to be made with absorbing material. Mostly they paint that one with the black color with a heat resistance mud paint. Absorber is used to absorb more of the sun's energy. And when for uh, using the solar cook pot, cooking pot, we have to choose dark, dark color that is the outer surface of the cooking pot is to be dark. The dark colors mostly black is easy to absorb the solar and retain the absorbed solar energy is transmitted inside the food and it should be shallow. It is not necessary to have very high height, height is not required because if the cooking pot is very lengthy, the heat is not tra transferred from the top to bottom. If it is shallow or short in nature, the food is easily cooked. The heat is transferred internal to the cooker, cooking pot uniformly and food is cooked. So, thin metal parts with dark and tight fitting lids. If, we, if the temperature is very high on a sunny day, we have to take precautions to use gloves and sunglasses. Whenever we are placing the solar cooker outside the sun, we have to look for the sun position and the reflector angle, whether the cooking pot is facing towards the sun and the reflectors are such that it is focusing the sunlight into the cooking pot. And here intermediate cooking steps is not possible. So, whatever contents we want to cook, the cooking pot is to be placed under the sun and the cooker is also placed outside and we can't take intermediate steps in the cooking process. Whatever we want to cook, we just put all the contents in the container properly, the proper amount of water and other materials and we cook it. It is not possible to intermediately open the cooker and add some materials. So, it is easy to cook in the process and the solar cooker is also with day to day life available materials. It is possible to make box type cooker and panel cooker with the day to day life available materials. And with sunny conditions in India, it is easy to use the cooker with minimum fuel and no expenses. And the panel cooker if we see, it is so portable in nature, it is handy, we can just fold whenever it is not in use and use it whenever it is required, that is for cooking purpose. 
so we have seen box type cooker panel type cooker and other concentrated solar cookers the box type cooker and the panel cooker are used for residential application other cookers are used for commercial application this box type cooker cooker and panel type cooker are easy to make with the day to day life available materials thank you